so here's a little test with uh, flaps up, gear up, flaps up, uh, and I just want to show the stability of the aircraft. So uh, it's basically perfectly trimmed, not not hundred percent, but basically perfectly trimmed. Maybe I can even put a little more trim back. So now I have 5.7 in trim. I can see it here. So see the, the nose drops a little. I will put 5.77 uh, in trim. Now you can see the plane is moving up and I move very very small inputs on the controls to to, to hold the, the altitude. So uh, see there we have it, something like that. So th basically the plane is stable. So now if I move just aileron to five degrees, basically nothing should happen with the pitch. Not pitch down, not pitch up nothing should just stay here in this this uh, duration and actually does actually does so if I go back to neutral again like that neutral again and uh, go to 20 degrees still shouldn't need much aileron input to keep this and no, now I don't use any inputs and it's very fast going back to 5 degrees and also start pitching down so let's, let's go back to the original state but what I've noticed is that the yaw damper is not perfectly out of yaw so you can see here that the plane yaws so if I keep this just keep this and try to keep it uh, with just aileron and elevator you can see that the plane yaws a little so and I, I have to keep the plane in, in uh, with a little aileron but if I put some rudder in to compensate for the yaw is the yaw damper should take care of this but if I just put some rudder in now I only need elevator keep the turn so now I don't need any aileron to keep the turn so I imagine that if I get this yawing fixed I will not need an aileron in the turn uh, so also, if I release the, the rudder, like that, starts yawing again, uh, and I need to have some aileron input. If I now turn off yaw damper, we should see about this amount of yaw that it is now. It's very subtle. So I will turn off yaw damper and see if anything happens. yours more but not not much so turn on your uh, still yours so the aircraft behavior in turns could be because of prosim so not because of the flight model just if just if we think about uh, the aileron and uh, 
and uh, yawing effect. Yaw damper is maybe not working as it should really. This could be one of the things. Because if I put a little yaw in, I can keep the turn with just elevator. You can see, no aileron input. No aileron input at all. And just keep that. So in this case, I only need to have some adjustment of the elevator. That means the plane's nose should not dip this much. If I if I go to full uh, full, I should not need uh, I should not need. Uh, this amount of uh, elevator. I I I know it doesn't it isn't much, but but it is but it's there. And the same if we go the other way. So if I use my rudder pedals. plane behaves much better. This suggests to me that there's something wrong with the yaw damper or maybe flight model yawing effect. That's it. 